Welcome to Dining with Dan. So for tonight, basically get a bonus of two recipes in one. First is I'm going to show you how to make the uh, mojo, mojo pork, and that's in a crock pot. And with the mojo pork, I'm going to make Cubano sandwiches. Okay, so to start this dish, we're going to take a, uh, basically a pork shoulder, pork butt roast. You want about three or four pounds. Uh, here, actually, and I'm sure I said in my other videos that uh, I buy this package that's basically pork carnitas in the bag, which is basically it's already a, it's a pork roast that's already cut up. Um, you can do this either way. You can do a full roast or, or you can cut it up. Actually, if, if you're doing it in a crock pot, I would recommend cutting it up. I mean, you can make a mojo, mojo roast. And then that, obviously, you'd need a ro full roast for that. So, anyway, so here you got some large chunks of meat. Um, you know, it says carnitas in a bag. Well, if you were actually making carnitas, you would actually cut these down. You'd want them a lot smaller than that, but since I'm not, I'm just making a pulled mo mojo pork. I'm going to leave those the size they are. Alright, so you're going to take uh, one medium sweet onion. I'm going to cut that up. Probably could have used a bigger onion. But that's alright. This just gonna be like a rough chop, so I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna throw those in here. take a uh, basically 12 cloves of garlic you can use fresh garlic but I hate mincing garlic so I'm just gonna do this the easy way now if you, if you have the time and patience to mince garlic you want 12 cloves of garlic uh, finely minced uh, if you have the patience for that, it definitely will make a difference in the flavor of this. But since I'm not, I'm going to do two tablespoons out of the jar of minced garlic. And we're also going to add a tablespoon of salt. of cumin, 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 however you pronounce it, you say tomato, I say tomato, and we're going to do two teaspoons of oregano. So we're going to do three quarters of a cup of chicken broth, pour that in there, along with a quarter cup of olive oil. Forgot. We're also going to want a teaspoon of black pepper. there we're going to take the juice from two oranges 
If you want to just use orange juice, you can uh, do that. It'd be about a half cup of orange juice and you want uh, lime, so I'm going to do uh, about a quarter cup of lime juice or two limes. Cilantro. Chop that up pretty fine. You want about a half cup of finely chopped cilantro in this. This up really well. I should have worn this shirt. And there, we're just going to take, I'm going to pour that into our crock pot. Cover that. I'm going to put this on, cook this on low for about six to eight hours. We'll come back and take a look at it when it's done. Okay, so this pork's been slow cooking for about eight hours, and it should be done. We're gonna take this lid off. It just smells amazing. What we're gonna want to do is, this meat should just fall apart. You just want to kind of shred that in there. A couple forks, and you just shred it. Next step, we'll get these sandwiches put together. Get the sandwich started. We're gonna basically take just plain yellow mustard. I'm gonna put that on the bottom layer. Then we're gonna take some Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese on that. Do a couple layers. That we're gonna take a couple stacker pickles. You want the long pickles like this? Actually, we're gonna just take just take enough to fit across the roll. That's about one and a half there. On top of that, I want to take some ham. Here I have some. Uh, Black Forest ham, you can use uh, whatever kind of ham you like. On top of that, we're going to take our mojo pork. Just drain, strain that, drain that real good. Lay that over the top. Of that we're going to take some more Swiss cheese. Close this sandwich for the top on. Make this excess fall on size. We'll carefully put this on a panini maker. Don't force that down, just let it sit on top of it and it'll eventually, as it, it, that weight will eventually start smashing that down. You can push it a little bit, but 
I found if you push it hard, it kind of smushes it over. So let let the machine do the work for you. So I'm gonna give that a few minutes to toast up, get that cheese and everything melted in there, and I'll uh, we'll come back when it's done. That is looking like it's done. I'm gonna carefully pull this off of here. There you have it, the Cuban sandwich, also known as a Cubano. If you're wondering why it's sliced like that, that's the way they slice it. I don't know why, but just following what they do. So let's try this sandwich out. Crunch on the top. All those flavors combine nicely. Mm. Got that mojo pork. You can do a lot of things with the mojo pork. Uh, Cubano is definitely one of them. But you can serve that on uh, some rice with some black beans, whatever you want. It's just a very delicious uh, way to prepare pork. So. Anyway. Like this recipe, you want to try it out for yourself. I'll put it down in the description below. Like the video, and you want to see more like it? Please subscribe. And thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon.